Ladies and gentlemen, data is the new gold. We are becoming more and more involved with it in our daily lives. Whether it be the internet of things, self-driving cars, smart AI, or even the up and coming Neuralink, all of them rely on the flow of data to operate. With increasing reliance on data to drive day-to-day -day operations, this begs the question, how do we know that all of this data is secure and safe from the hands of hackers? This is a question that goes mostly unanswered and will be the main focus of my talk today. With cyber attacks and data breaches escalating exponentially in size and severity, neglecting cybersecurity is an issue that empowers hackers beyond anyone's wildest imaginations and a mistake that will cost us colossally in the long run. Now, in order to truly go beyond the human, in order to truly move forward as a species, we must ensure that the tools we use to do so are safe and secure for everyone to use. Now, I would like to set the scene. I'm sure you've all seen the advanced AI models and their magical capabilities. Uh, OpenAI, uh, ChatGPT, Google's Bard, GitHub's Copilot, you name it. You've, some of you might have even used it to increase your productivity tenfold. Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you that you were not the only people using these to increase your productivity? As it stands, like a dog is a man's best friend, AI is a hacker's best friend, and it proves a surprisingly capable assistant in manipulating both the human and the computer. Now, this brings me to my first point, which is AI's ability to write malware and exploit code. Now, well, AI models are centuries, even millennia away from actually replacing programmers. That's not to say that they aren't efficient at writing code, namely dangerous code that can be used against internet infrastructure and systems worldwide. To prove my point, I asked a nondescript AI to write me malware. Now, disclaimers, do not under any circumstances do this. This is for educational purposes only. That being said, this is its response and here, is what it returned. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a polymorphic self-encrypting virus. What this virus does, for those of you who are unfamiliar with computer terminology, is it is a virus that can change its appearance at will, which makes it very, very difficult to track and basically makes it go undetected by most antivirus solutions today. Now, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that this was created in seconds by a bored high schooler. Imagine what a hacker with more ingenuity and more time on their hands can do. Is this terrifying you yet? It gets worse. Consider the fact that most companies nowadays neglect cybersecurity. Yes, even the major ones. For example, Toyota in May 2023 released, they had, uh, released the fact that they had been the victim of a decade-long data breach which compromised millions of user accounts. With cyber attacks increasing rampantly and becoming much more savage and companies stagnating and refusing to improve their cyber policies, this stands to lead to a cataclysm, ladies and gentlemen, in which your data is the victim. Now, the intrinsic value of AI to a hacker is not in its ability to write bad code. It is actually in its ability to manipulate people. Social engineering is a class of attack that is becoming increasingly more prevalent, with 41% of major breaches happening due to uh, this type of attack. Now, it, it is an attack which involves a hacker manipulating a human and coercing them into, uh, into doing their bidding. So AI can also help with this in a very, very efficient manner. Now, now let's take a look at this from the hands of a hacker, right? So here is our victim, John Doe. So we want his bank details. The first step is we basically compile a list of public information. So we found online via social media and other forums that he's 23, he's a junior analyst, uh, he's a bit of a hustler, and he's kind of struggling with his finances. So we use this and feed it to this AI model, once again, nondescript for legal reasons, and it returns a very, very efficient, very, very convincing script over here, which, is sent in, which would be sent in an email to him, which would get him to click on a malicious link. Now, this uh, email prompt uses time urgency and consequences, introduces consequences in order to get him to click on a link. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might think that, oh yeah, this is just a simple scam email. I won't fall for this. Well, I have two things to say to that. Both of them indicate that you are wrong. 
First off, it is becoming increasingly harder for people to tell the difference between AI-generated content and real content. And second off, a 2021 study conducted by IT firm AAG looked into phishing attacks and found that the success rate jumped from 18% to 51% when the attacks were personalized, like we did here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is a coin toss probability. Do you want the integrity of your data reliant on a coin toss? Now, some of you might roll your eyes at the mention of your data, think it's completely different, completely separate from who you are as a person, and think it has no bearing on your life. Well, let's contextualize this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play a game. Raise your hands if you have bought something online at any point in time. <laughs> Raise your hands if you have private documents on your computer or if you have done something private online. Raise your hands, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a smart device, such as an Amazon Alexa or Google Home sitting in your house right now, the majority of you said yes, ladies and gentlemen. All this data act as strings to which a sufficiently skilled hacker can control you like a puppet. As a result, security of your data matters. Now, we've kind of looked at how exactly hackers can use modern technologies to kind of... Uh, you know, wreak havoc, start chaos. But one thing I think that is even more important is how do we fight back? Where do we go from here? Simple, we fight fire with fire. So you can use these AI generated models as well to uh, read Kafkaesque, absurdly long terms and conditions to actually make informed decisions based on how, the companies, han how companies handle your data. This is a very efficient tool as it allows you to get to what matters most. Furthermore, with the rise of social engineering attacks, you can also use generative AI to detect these social engineering attacks, as these models are very efficient at detecting what they have generated. Furthermore, if you are a programmer, you can also use generative AI to write mundane boilerplate code and templates so you can focus on the bigger picture as a whole, uh, you know, system security, scalability, and efficiency. All of this combines to make a very, very, very robust cyber strategy and secure your data pretty efficiently. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I've said before, in order to truly go beyond the human, cybersecurity must be considered. In order, it is something that is beyond every single one of us, and it is something that we are all responsible for. In order to usher in a new age, we must make sure that the tools used to do so are safe. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.